all and welcome to another episode of Android Talks Enterprise. And this time we have a very, very special guest. Zebra, Motorola, Nokia. Some of the names we're rolling off here, guys. I'm bringing you Mr. Paul Norford. Paul, welcome. Welcome to Android Talks Enterprise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that introduction, Reese. And again, thank you for the opportunity to be here. It's 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 really good to be online with you and again aligned to what Google and uh, Android are looking to do for the enterprise space. So honored to be here. Thank you very much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Paul, simply let's get into who you are and just tell the audience about what you do. Sure, absolutely. And again, Reese, thank you for the opportunity. So my name is Paul Norford. Uh, most people know me as North, which is the first four letters of my surname. And there's a whole kind of backstory behind that. But I am Chief Evangelist at Ivanti Wavelink. And broadly, I wear two hats, one of which is to tell the story of what Ivanti Wavelink does. Moreover, why we do what we do and telling that story, that compelling story to our customers as well as our partners. The second hat that I wear is sales enablement. And you might ask, North, what's sales enablement? Broadly, it's making sure that all of our sales teams, all of our sales teams have the right information at the right time in the right way so they can make a difference to their customers. That was, that made all the sense to me, by the way. That made <laughs> all the sense. Because what you've done here is, and I can relate, and I'll tell you why, because you're, you're mixing sales, you've got community management experience and engaging with your partners, which we find here at Android Enterprise very important. And also you've got, you're wearing that evangelist hat as well, the digital expertise. Mm -hmm. And that leads me on to my question of, with all the vast amount of experiences that you do have from a digital perspective, mm -hmm. how do you feel digital media has supported Android Enterprise in engaging audiences? And what more do you feel like can be done in the future? That's a big question, actually, Reese. So, so for me, change 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 happens in our industry super quick, and and I I think sometimes um, people kind of take that for granted. But if I think about that digital experience, a lot of the things that we used to do, Ivanti Wavelink and Android Enterprise inside Google, we did a lot of stuff face to face. We then had to pivot very quickly to move to a digital medium, and now interviews like this conversations like this are almost the norm oh yeah but then double click into well how do we how do we get technology into our partners and consumers hands and and that's really where google did a did an awesome thing and you you brought about zero touch so again if you're setting devices up with with, with zero touch effectively you take them out of the box, you put the battery in, you turn it on, and you leave the device. It goes away and does what it needs to do to get ready for a line of business application. And if we're thinking about the digital experience for our customers, we still interact physically. But the digital sphere is something that we are getting better and better at and understanding more and more. But I believe that it's not all just going to be virtual. There has to be a level of hybrid activity that goes on inside that, fundamentally supported with what Google and Android Enterprise are doing around security and making sure that applications are feature rich is, is all good. And this, for me, is just the beginning. I, I, yeah, absolutely. I completely agree <laughs> with you. I completely agree with you. And the one takeaway I just took from that is around some of the experiences you've had with speaking to people on your journey, on this digital journey that you've been on. Yes. From your experience, when talking to people about Android Enterprise, when having guests on, on podcasts, etc., what are some of the things that they do bring up? One of the key elements, if, if I were to you know get a thread and, and dial it all the way back to kind of gingerbread days, one of the key threads that Android and, and Google have been doing is investing in security. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that when it comes to consumer security, Google have invested heavily into uh, testing in the Play Store, making sure that all applications are correctly secure. Those investments are still continuing. Then I've, if I pivot to the, to the enterprise space, our customers who allow their devices to connect back to Google servers, again, they are saying the security that we get running Android Enterprise is, is phenomenal. 
some of our customers are still running Android 8, Android 9. Okay, so that's where the bulk of our activity currently is. Mm -hmm. But if you look at that security thread and you, you, you pull that through, that's gone from pretty much zero to, say, hero very, very quickly. And Google is still investing in that. If, if I if I then also think about a, a, one of the ways to manage devices, Android Enterprise has almost one window to manage many, many devices. So for, for, for enterprise partners like Evanti Wavelink, it's phenomenal because you're giving us the tools to manage lots and lots of devices. So if, if I speak to customers, these are kind of two examples of some of the positive things that Android Enterprise gives us. The positive steps that Google are making in terms of security are phenomenal. You really are accelerating how business is done. But then I feel there needs to be a, a huge update in terms of mindset for those customers who aren't yet on the same page as you and I and, and, and our kind of forward thinking partners and customers. We've got a big job to do to make sure that they understand the benefits and what's in it for them if they were to open their network to Google. It's interesting. Uh, from what I'm gathering, what you're saying here is education is key, right? Critical. Critical. Yeah, agree. Moving on to more a personal level for you, what would you say is your standout Android Enterprise feature? That one thing where you go, that's the one. I know we mentioned security, but is there anything yeah. else? Yes. Yes, there is. Ooh, okay. uh, the, the, the key standout thing for me is the personal work profile, right? One of the things that I, I love to do is when I'm away from work, I turn off my email so nobody can get hold of me because you've got to have that switch off time in order to kind of regroup and then gather momentum to get back into work, right? Mm -hmm. so, so the key thing for me is work profile. One click, I turn off everything that's to do with work do you know it's it's really interesting it is so interesting you said work profile because it is the one standout feature from this podcast that really gets a lot of love from our guests tons of love and it interestingly there's still people out there that think oh work profile is just any enterprise oems have work profile it's just standard across the board but it's sure not. sure it, it's, it's not. not paul i'm not going to keep too much of your time but Finally, if yes. you could give one tip to a partner, any tip at all getting started with all the experience you've got, whether that's in sales, digital, whatever it is, what would it be? We, we, touched, we touched on it earlier, and it's, it's education. It's information. Making sure that your knowledge is, is bang up to date. But also, I, I alluded to the fact that, that change is always happening. So make sure that you're keeping yourself up to speed with what goes on. Connect with people like Reese and Michael and the rest of the team, because people buy from people. Yes. But people buy more from those that add value to what they do. And... In my experience, the likes of Reese, Michael, the rest of the team are adding value, not just to me personally, but also to what we do at Evanti Wavelink. So education and connecting with the team. Thank you very much. Guys, take care.